Welcome to the visual guys. Enjoy the video. Welcome back to the channel. Hello. This is uh, Chris. Do you remember Chris? Sorry guys. Where have you been? Been busy working unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, he's been busy busy boy. I, you know, I've stated that he's had interviews and stuff like that. He had yeah. another interview today. I did. And he's got another interview today. I do. But he's graced us with his appearance for us. I managed to squeeze you No guys mercy. In. Um, prediction video. I have indeed. Um, you've, uh, I've just caught him up to date with Smackdown and stuff because you haven't been able to watch it with work, work, work. Unfortunately. But, um, pay the bills. He's, he's up to date, he knows what the score is, he knows what's all going on. He, he's going to be coming to watch No Mercy. So we're all good. Good. Um, do you want to kick it off then? You can give the first prediction. The kick off match. Kick off match. It's Jack Swagger, Swagger Baron Corbin. Corbin. Well, this is. I'm not really bothered on this one, really, because... I just explained just, what happened just, on SmackDown with um, Corbin yeah. tapping out, but he never tapped out. It was fucking weird. <laughs> no one cares. Go on, mate. Who do you want? But I'd, I'd like uh, Corbin to win this, because he's a good fire. And he is. He's a good wrestler. Yeah. I think he's spot on. And it, it's, it's, it'd be nice for him to actually get earned, not just... He's always on the side. kickoff show as well, isn't he? He is. He's always he needs, on the kickoff show. He needs to uh, get into the main events, I think. Uh, I'm going to say Corbin as well, just because fucking... Because <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> it's just a, oh, it's a few that I'm not bothered about. But yeah, we've both got Corbin on that one. Yes. Next up, Nikki Bella versus Carmella. Well, so I believe Carmella's been butching Nikki. But I think Nikki's going to kick her ass in this one, like. I'm going to have to say Nikki on that one as well. I just think, to make it interesting, because that's Smackdowns and stuff, it's just ended up with Carmella just pinning Nikki Bella. Fucking here, there and everywhere. Yeah. It's bullshit. It is indeed. Um, the Smackdown Women's Championship, Alexa Bliss versus uh, Becky Lynch. Well, Becky should win this, retain the title belt. I don't see why she shouldn't, really. Yeah, she should definitely keep it. It's pure shit out of her and the other four, four horsewomen. Bailey, Charlotte, and Sasha. She seems. To, I know she's got the title on that now. She seems to be having the most shittest time. Yeah, and I don't see why Alexa's. I like Alexa Bliss. I think she's amazing. She's for for the age she is. She's an amazing wrestler and stuff, and she's got the image. But ah. it's way too early to take it off Becky Lynch. Yes. So you say Becky in that one as well. I say Becky on that We've one. We've agreed well. on every single one so far. We have. I think we might disagree on two maybe, but yeah. The SmackDown Tag Team Championships, Heath Slate and Rhino versus the Oos. Oosos. I mean, when they just say, oh, actually, no, they're <laughs> now they're bad guys, they don't do that anyway. No. They're the bad guys, they don't. I just wanted to do it. Um, I'm going to say Heath and Rhino on this one, actually. I'm going to say they're going to retain it, because yeah. I know the Oosos have been bad lately, and they're naughty boys. But... Nah, I'm gonna say who's sort and no, I'm gonna say Rhino and Slater. I think I'm gonna stick with them just because they've only just won it. Yeah. Um be nice to see what they can do. It, I mean it would be nice for the Usos to win it because they're now the bad guys and you could get the teams of like um American Alpha and stuff involved for the title match against them and stuff. But no, yeah. Rhino and Heath Slater are returning. Oh yeah, another one. Now this this is one I just can't get my head around, right? The Intercontinental match, Intercontinental, Intercontinental Championship match, The Miz versus Ziggler. If Ziggler loses, what does he have to do? Bye bye. He has to go, he has to retire. Um, so I don't know. Go on, what do you think? I don't, like I say, I don't know neither because. What, what, what I just said to him when I read online, again, it could just be bullshit. He's a stand up comedian and apparently he wants to do that full time. So I don't know how much that's it true. It is quite a hard one, really. But. I, don't, I still don't see the Miz losing it. No. Because it's set up, you know, it's set up and it's like, oh, Ziggler's going to win there. It's obvious because he's going to retire, but maybe not. Maybe it's not set up so it's obvious. Maybe he does legitimately want to retire. Unless he does actually want to go. So I think this is a flip of a coin. I'm, I'm going to say the Miz. I'm going to say the Miz. Uh, I just, yeah. I think it's too obvious for yeah. Ziggler to win. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. Ah. Oh. I got a phone call. call it's alright, it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. We're professional. Carry on. We're live. No, we're not live. This is recorded. Uh, Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt. This is another kind of hard one. Yeah, because Wyatt needs to win since he's not had a win for quite a while. He's been getting budged a lot. Plus, I can't remember the last time he won just out of pay per view. 
Well, what was his last pay per view win? I just forget absolutely done it. Randy Orton needs a win because of he Lesnar, does. but he doesn't need one as bad as Bray Wyatt. No, because he's more successful. But if it's a feud that's <clears> long lasting, <throat> then Randy Orton's going to come out on top probably anyway. I'm going to say Bray, even though I want Randy to win, because I'm a good Red Mick fan, I'm going to say Bray Wyatt. Yeah, I'm going to say Bray we've, we've got one match <laughs> that we might not agree on. One match. Uh, yeah, because I'm going to say Bray Wyatt as well. He just really desperately he hates. He needs to win. And the way he's been losing as well, he's been looking like a bit of a not coward, but he's been looking like a yeah. I don't know, like uh, getting de- uh, sorry counted out against Kane because he went to go look for right because Randy Orton's been tormenting him, you know, for the Titan Tron doing yeah. his old gimmick. He locked him in a bloody metal cabin the other day. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's just fucking. <sighs> but yeah, and then the next one, which I cannot wait for, the WWE World Championship, AJ Styles, the champion, Dean Ambrose, and my man, John Cena. Again, this is a hard one because it all it's lies right down now. on is Cena just making an appearance? Yeah. Or is he going to stay Cause I, good? I'm not sure if he's filmed season two of American Grit. I don't, he had a couple of weeks off and what, what we said, he couldn't have filmed a full yeah. season in that time. So if he stays, then I might say Cena would win. But if he's just making an appearance, then I'm going to say AJ is going to retain it. So, but there's still nothing saying Dean can't just win it. Well, exactly. It's pure hard. <laughs> it is. Because <laughs> they both, um, not the SmackDown two weeks ago, Cena ended up AA in both of them yeah. and leaving looking strong. And then last SmackDown, um, Cena AA Dean Ambrose, but then uh, AJ got his forearm in and he ended up leaving looking strong. So, and then there's, there's a whole thing about a Dean Ambrose heel turn, so maybe he's going to wander off and feud with somebody else. <sighs> Just quite hard on this one, like. If Cena stays, though, and he doesn't win the title, I'm not sure what he's going to do, because, like he stated, all he's got left to do his career is to become 16-time champion. Ah, oh, Chris. I know. It's quite hard on this one. Just because he's my guy, I'm going to say Cena. I... I legitimately think AJ is more likely to win, and I think he should retain. But because I can't decide, I'm just going to go with my man Cena. It's. Right, I'm going to say AJ. Yeah, I am. Because I don't see, who, like, see it's a hard one, and I don't see why AJ should lose. That's right. I, I, AJ shouldn't lose the title and stuff, and I, I do think he should retain. But because I can't decide, and I'm so indecisive. But if Cena does stay. And AJ should I stay? Should I go? And AJ wins. That might put Cena in the run up for a title off Miz. So Cena's something Cena's not at the Intercontinental Title Championship. Mm-hmm. That's so probably it hard. Be, it might be the next one he goes for. Yeah, do you know what? It's going to probably turn out to be fucking Dean Ambrose. Probably. <laughs> it's, it's too hard to decide. But yeah, that's our predictions for No Mercy on this Sunday. Um, let us know what you think. Oh, you haven't done any of the signing off stuff. I you know. Can do all the sign- I'll sit back and relax. Well. You sign off. Right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. And just remember, like, subscribe, leave comments below if necessary. And we shall see you soon. He's going to go for an interview now. Bye. Cheers, guys. Love you. Please subscribe to the visual guys. And don't forget to leave a like.